Hello and welcome back to the channel. Just wanted to get a quick video out on the developing situation regarding Chelsea's FA Cup tie at Middlesbrough, uh, which is due to take place very, very soon. Now, we all know what's been going on with Chelsea of late. We all know about the sanctions imposed and we know about the restrictions that have since been put on the club, particularly with regards to ticketing. But Chelsea today have made a request to have their cup tie at Middlesbrough played behind closed doors, seeing as they won't have any supporters within the stadium, seeing as they cannot sell tickets. Why? What on earth has this got to do with Middlesbrough? I understand that Chelsea fans feel that a lot of the restrictions imposed on the club are damaging to nobody else but the fans. I get that they feel like there's a bit of a witch hunt towards their club. Personally, I think the sanctions and everything that's happened, it had to happen. And I don't think the government had much choice in the matter. But Chelsea fans are frustrated and Chelsea fans are um, feeling a little bit hard done by. But this request in particular, it, to me, is bizarre. It really, really is. Now, if you're Chelsea Football Club, I understand why you'd prefer to have some support inside the stadium. First of all, there's a monetary benefit in terms of the money that you can earn selling tickets. And of course, the gate, the way the gate receipts are split in the FA Cup, you would stand to receive a larger chunk uh, of money if indeed there are more fans inside the stadium. So I get that. I also get that you prefer to have fans in the stadium from a sporting perspective, that you prefer to have fans in the stadium supporting your team rather than coming up against the crowd who are solely uh, supporting the opposition. I get all of that stuff. But the thing I'm really, really struggling with is if Chelsea can't sell tickets, which we know they can't, what benefit do they get by blocking Middlesbrough from selling tickets outside of the fact that they don't have to play against a crowd as well as 11 players? I just think that given everything that's going on right now, Chelsea could have shown a little bit of class here. Chelsea could have shown... Um, you know, so, some integrity here. They might feel hard done by it about the way they're being treated, but this has absolutely nothing to do with Middlesbrough or Middlesbrough's ownership or Middlesbrough's fans. So why should Middlesbrough be expected to not have their fans inside the stadium for a huge game? Why should they lose out on the income of having a packed Riverside Stadium just because of what's going on with Chelsea. To me, it's baffling. And, and I understand why Chelsea fans are upset about the whole situation. But this move in particular has shown a real, real lack of class from Chelsea Football Club. So what exactly have they said? What exactly have they done? Well, they've made a request um, with regards to the game. And here is the update. It says... We are disappointed. This is the update from Chelsea Football Club, by the way. We are disappointed to announce we will not be able to sell tickets for Saturday's FA Cup tie at Middlesbrough. Despite engaging in extensive discussions with the Office of Financial Sanctions Implementation, the deadline to purchase away tickets has passed without appropriate amendments being made to the government licence, which would allow a full allocation of Chelsea supporters to attend. Executives at Middlesbrough had been kind enough to extend their deadline for ticket sales and stadium allocation from 7.30pm last night until 9.30 this morning. It's important for the competition that the match against Middlesbrough does go ahead. However, it is with extreme reluctance that we're asking the FA board to direct that game be played behind closed doors for matters of sporting integrity. Chelsea FC recognises that such an outcome would have a huge impact on Middlesbrough and its supporters, as well as our own fans, who have already bought the limited number of tickets that were sold before the licence was imposed. But we believe this is the fairest way of proceeding in the current circumstances. We will continue to discuss the issue of ticket sales with the OFSI as there are a number of fixtures still to be played this season, and we hope to reach a resolution. So they're acknowledging that in, in, in asking for this, and, and in the event that it's granted, they'd be doing serious damage to Middlesbrough in terms of revenue and in terms of, you know, advantage in the game because they won't have any fans there. And they say they do it with extreme reluctance. Why are you doing it? It doesn't make sense at this point. 
you know, I think there's still a lot of people that look at what's going on at Chelsea right now and have a sympathy towards the supporters and a sympathy to the people that are working within the club who aren't Roman Abramovich, right? Who don't have any direct ties to the war and invasion going on in Ukraine at the moment. But for Chelsea to pull a move like this is classless and it's not going to earn them any friends. I can tell you that. But it doesn't end there. Middlesbrough have responded to this statement and rightly so. Middlesbrough have made their feelings clear on Chelsea's request. And here is the statement from Middlesbrough Football Club, which came out just a short while ago. We are aware of Chelsea's request to have Saturday's Emirates FA Cup six round tie played behind closed doors and find their suggestion both bizarre and without any merit whatsoever. All concerned are well aware of the reasons Chelsea have been sanctioned and that this has nothing to do with Middlesbrough Football Club. To suggest as a result that Middlesbrough Football Club and our fans should be penalised is not only grossly unfair, but without any foundation. Given the reasons for these sanctions, and this is the killer bit, for Chelsea to seek to invoke sporting integrity as a reason for the game being played behind closed doors is ironic in the extreme. Middlesbrough pulling no punches. We're currently awaiting a formal notification from the FA of the next steps. But rest assured, Middlesbrough will resist Chelsea's actions in the strongest terms. And so they should. Now, look, the idea of fans not being able to attend games like that, to me, doesn't have any impact, any positive impact on what's going on in Ukraine. So I understand why, you know, Roman Abramovich has had his stuff seized. Roman Abramovich can't benefit from anything the club earns at the moment. Roman Abramovich has essentially had the club seized from him. So I, I don't really get what we seek to gain um, by stopping the fans going. And I understand why fans are disappointed. But that's something that Chelsea should be fighting the government about, if at all. Not Middlesbrough Football Club. They shouldn't be seeking to damage Middlesbrough Football Club at a time when already everybody's eyes are on Chelsea and there are already a lot of people out there who feel like Chelsea, you know, have uh, have been quite happy to to take Roman Abramovich's money and use it and, and, and go and achieve incredible success off the back of that without ever really thinking about where the money came from. Now, I'm not even saying that that's my view, but that's the view of a lot of people. And this is an awful PR move for Chelsea Football Club right now because... The, the rest of the football world, from what I'm seeing on social media, has moved very quickly to condemn this action. Chelsea should not be seeking to do damage to Middlesbrough Football Club because of the sanctions and the licence uh, restrictions that have been imposed on them. Does it help them if they go and play in a stadium with no atmosphere and with no Middlesbrough fans? Yeah, probably from a sporting point of view, slightly. But just at this point in time, given everything that's going on, this just feels like a really bad PR move from Chelsea and one that is going to incur the wrath of the footballing world. But will the FA show some backbone here? I hope so, because as I say, this has nothing to do with Middlesbrough Football Club and there is no reason why they should be at a disadvantage because of the situation involving Chelsea at the moment. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Not an Arsenal related piece of content, this, but as I said, uh, a little bit, uh, well, a month ago now, we will be trying uh, to bring you a little bit more content around some of the big stories in the game. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure uh, you comment your thoughts below and, of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Cheers.